Hey everybody, welcome back. This is string methods one. So the first problem, get full name. Write a function called get full name. Given a first and last name, get full name returns a single string with the given first and last name separated by a single space. Here's an example of that working. So, relatively simple idea. We're going to be using something called string concatenation. I'm going to actually declare a result. You don't need to do this, but it can help. So we'll say first name plus, and we'll put a space here and then the last name variable. After which, we'll return result. Scroll down, run the tests, and we're in good shape. You want to keep in mind that we could probably return this directly, as well as creating a variable and then returning it. Uh, both are going to work, but eventually you'll probably fall into the habit of doing one or the other. Get length of word. Write a function called get length of word. Given a word, get length returns the length of the given word. Pretty straightforward one, like a lot of these introductory problems. There's a length method on a string, which lets us basically say variable length is equal to word.length. And then we can return the length. Run the tests, and we're good. To be sure, the same idea applies. We could absolutely just return word.length because that expression um, evaluates to the same thing. Get length of two words. Write a function called get length of two words. Given two words, uh, get length of words, get length of two words returns the sum of their lengths. So, we're going to follow the same pattern. And we'll get rid of this. We'll say variable length one is equal to word one dot length. Variable length two is equal to word two dot length. We'll say variable um, results is equal to length one plus length two. Return result. And again, well, first let's make sure that this works, and it does. Um, definitely, definitely could just return word one dot length plus word two dot length. And we did a little bit more verbosely just to make sure that all the steps are clear, but to be sure, we can absolutely say something like, um, we'll put on the next line, return word one dot length plus word two dot length. And I know there might be an issue with some of these problems with copying and pasting. You want to figure that if you're writing syntax for the first time, you don't want to copy and paste. Like the if else statements, declaring variables, writing methods, a lot of these things you're going to want to write out. If you get a situation where you've written a lot of them out, or you have something like this, and you wanted to use this name elsewhere for some reason, it can be very useful to copy and paste just because the odds of your misspelling a word with this many letters is big enough to uh, copy and paste. So let's get rid of all of this. We're going to comment it out again like we did previously with command forward slash. It'll turn all of this into comments, meaning it's not going to get run. So line six is the only part of the function definition that's actually being run. Return word dot one, <coughs> excuse me, word one dot length plus word two dot length, and that's going to give us the correct answer. So thanks for watching this. Appreciate your hanging out with us. Hopefully these are going to get a little bit more complicated as we go, but wanted to provide the solutions uh, just so no one gets stuck and doesn't have anywhere to go. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.